Good morning, pets, bitches, and losers. I'm in a fall orange gold mood, and my eyelash is bothering me. Anywho, people, how the fuck are you? I am in a fun, fantastic mood. And you know why? Because I woke up to just the best pictures ever of my pet. He's doing some like fishnets, a little schoolgirl skirt, and kind of tucked so it looked kind of like, you know, Silence of the Lamb. And I'm like, why is this making me so happy? Because I love it! See, I don't know. It's, um, that's when you really know you're in the lifestyle is if you get really excited when you see shit like this. So yes, I saw shit like that and I made him, I made him punch himself in the dick and he had to, uh, smack his balls around with a wooden spoon and all this other shit. So yeah, it was fantastic. Um, so that doesn't mean though, dudes, that you should just start fucking dropping pics like that into anyone's DMs. Big fucking difference of me wanting to see something than me not wanting. And what I mean by that is if I have requested or like I said, it's my sub and they're owned, then yeah. Or, you know, if I'm fucking you and we have that type of, you know, relationship to where we share pictures and shit, then yeah, I don't mind seeing that shit at all. Um, but if you're not owned by me and we don't have a relationship as far as even if you're even just say you're a sub and you've tributed or something a couple times unless i specify you to drop that shit in my dms don't fucking do it there is for me and i will say most women i know i'm not gonna say all but most women in general whether in this lifestyle or not are fucking disgusted by unsolicited dick pics. I don't give two fucks how big it is, how pretty it is, anything. It fucking disgusts me because if you fucking violate me in that way, because it is a fucking violation. It is a sexual violation. I'm sorry. And as a fucking woman or even dudes, I don't give two fucks. That is not fucking cool. So I'm actually repulsed by that shit. Like I said, I've had guys drop some fucking dick pics in my DMs where I'm like, fuck, that's huge. Ugh. You know, I don't give two fucks. I don't care unless I fucking tell you I want to see it or you fucking pay me and I'm just saying I'm just saying so for all of you who think it's cute to drop fucking dick pics we're, and you think we get off on it nah I get off on consensual fucking kink so yeah there is definitely something kinky about sending risque photos but it needs to be fucking consensual consensual. So don't get that shit twisted, bitch. So anywho, yes, I woke up very happy. Um, so I'm sure my sub's happy to hear me say this. So I am in a fucking fantastic frisky mood. I am going to work my boys over at my vanilla job and see how much I can milk them. Ha <laughs> ha! Because when I'm feeling extra, I turn on the extra, and they love it. So, anywho, oh, I want to address something. If any doms are watching this, any ladies in general are watching this, I say this with peace and love. 
But stop with the fucking bashing other women. Stop it. I don't understand why I get the shade I get because I am not affecting your life at all. And if you're supposedly a dom, we are honestly about female supremacy. So if you're fucking putting down other chicks, it just makes you look like a fucking hater. So I get it. Some people are fucking, ugh. I just mute and block or block, you know, just fuck. But literally, I don't know. And who knows? I will honestly say this account could have been a dude posing as a chick. But if it wasn't, I don't know, bitch, why the fuck you're giving me shade? So, I got my Halloween nails on. Aren't they cute? I don't think you can really see, can you? But it has like little graveyard scenes and stuff like that on. I wear press on. Basically, I take press on nails and glue them to my nails. It is not because I can't grow my own nails. It, it, well, actually growing my own nails is a pain in the ass because of what I do. I'm constantly breaking them. But anywho, and honestly, when I get manicures, uh, I have to get one every week and I'm not down for that. I used to wear the fucking long coffin nails and I loved them. And then one day I was riding my motorcycle and I went to grab the um, brake and my fucking nails hit the fucking lever and I literally ripped off my whole nail. Not the fake nail, but my whole nail. My fucking finger, this finger, my fuck you finger, I ripped the entire fucking nail up to the point where I had to yank it off because it was just like dangling. I almost wrecked because of the fucking pain it caused me. And I, I, I kind of threw up in my mouth a little bit. I almost fucking passed out when I saw what I fucking did. We had to stop. We had to go to a fucking drugstore so I could fucking tape up my finger. It was bleeding. It was nasty. It hurt like shit. And I was like somewhere in fucking Alabama. So anywho, at least with these, if I go to grab something, they will just pop off my nail. They, you know, so I would rather have to like spend my money on press on fucking nails and, you know, and then pop off here and there. I don't care. I don't care. So this bitch is like, you wear pop off, you wear fucking press on nails. You're cheap. You must not make any money because you can't go get your nails done. the nail I ripped off. Yeah. So, and actually, when this fucking nail was growing back, I started wearing these fucking things so I didn't look like a fucking weirdo with no nail on my finger. I would glue that to my goddamn skin. So, anywho, just, you know, stay in your own fucking lane. I do not sit there and be like, bitch, those are ugly. Bitch, your hair is this. Bitch, blah, blah, blah. Bitch, you know, come on. Come the fuck on. I could fucking sit there and be a total twat and fucking shame other women. But why? I don't, you know what? If you're happy, you do you. I don't care. So why, why would I shame somebody? It might not be my thing. That's cool. But the only way I'm going to fucking shame you is if you do this bullshit and try to shame me. So, anywho, bitches, if you're really for female supremacy, <sighs> stop attacking your fellow females for petty ass shit. Okay. So, there. Um, 
I actually think I have the first half of my video I was recording yesterday that I thought the sound got all fucked up. So I might post that to YouTube. Um, it's a lot of the same shit I talked about yesterday though, I think. But there's some other stuff in it too. I might post that. I don't know. I did, haven't done a diary thing because I just, yeah, I was going to film yesterday and honestly, I had so much shit that I had to do with my motorcycle. I got my new bitch, yeah, um, that when I got done, it was later in the day and I was like, I just want to chill because I am actually going next weekend to Nashville to see one of my best girlfriends. And I am honestly considering us going live on my AVN Stars fans, whatever the fuck it's called. It's in the description. And I will make it a open, not just for subscribers, uh, access as long as if you're interacting with us. And that doesn't mean you could just sit there and lurk. But if you're on there and you want to play with us, you just have to tip. So how's that? But anybody who doesn't, I'm just going to kick your ass out. But it should be fun. My uh, friend is extremely hot. Super fucking funny. She will fucking degrade you like nobody else. <laughs> and us together. And we'll be drinking. So it could be, this is a rarity. I don't drink a lot. But we will be having wine. Um, so yeah, I think you motherfuckers need to, uh, tune in next weekend. I am not sure what day. I'm not sure if it's going to be Friday night, Saturday night, or maybe even Sunday night. She has a daughter, so that keeps shit respectful and not around the kid, you know, because meh. So, and you're not going to really see her face. She has a job that she cannot get exposed from. Um, so yeah. Anywho, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm excited. Um, what else? What else? There was something else I was going to talk about. I don't know. Oh, so, oh, so it's funny. Uh, a lot of doms don't like to deal with sissification. Now, my pet, he likes to, uh, you know, dress up, be kind of sissified. But the thing is, I really feel like there's different levels of sissification. I feel like um, some guys just really want to fucking be like that all the time and, and are more kind of like some sissies are really fucking demanding and you know they want to spend their money on their sissy shit so you're really not going to make a lot of money off of them and please anybody who's a sissy I mean no shade to you I've just seen some that actually give people who are into sissification a bad name when they try to you know, work with a dom. They kind of try to talk from the bottom and stuff like that. Now, um, I've also seen some amazing sissies, and I want to say more than the others that um, really are such a pleasure, and they serve their doms amazingly. I am cool with it as long as they don't turn into little bitches and don't try to top from the bottom. I will tell you when you fucking put your clothes and shit on or if I have a problem with it or whatever. You know, like, if you really, really want to go through sissification training, I will be more than happy to guide you. More than happy. I would. I will even suggest makeup brands and give you makeup tips. I will guide you through stuff. I will help satisfy your kink. But, um, yeah. So, I am not opposed to sissies approaching me. And they just have to be really honest with me on what they like and what they're trying to achieve. 
as with any sub, um, that's the great thing about my, uh, my pet is he's super open and I love it. And as time goes on, we start like asking each other more questions and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I don't care if he asks me questions as long as he's respectful about it. And he has been, he's never been anything but just, uh, but respectful. So yeah. And he ha doesn't try to cross a line with me with me anytime a sub even remotely crosses that oh goddess I'd love to fuck you block done Ugh. you are yeah so anywho I am not opposed to sissification as long as they are willing to be upfront and honest. So any sissies you may apply and I will dress you so fucking cute. Oh my God. You got to understand I didn't have kids and I wanted to have a little girl. So I will be more than happy to dress your asses up looking fly as fuck. Um, and cute. You can either look super cute or you can look super fucking hot. So anywho, I'm almost at work and I'm in a great mood and I would be in a better fucking mood if you motherfuckers made my cash apps go off. <laughs> Everything is in my pin tweet on my Twitter and the link of my Twitter is in this description. So, you know, come play. I am always up to playing with new subs. Let's see. Get your feet wet. Get your toe wet. You know, it's going to either work or it's not. I'm not going to rip you off. I'm going to be super fucking honest with you. You're going to like, you know, they either love me or hate me. But hey, you don't know until you try. So, approach me and you know how to approach me. Tribute, bitch. <laughs>